Hello friends welcome to the truth of God Jesus Christ is Lord channel. Here is another reaction video with Pastor Gino Jennings. We believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and he is the creator of heaven and earth according to the scriptures. This channel is for educational purposes only. Let's watch and learn together. There is no God but one, just one. There is no Trinity. God don't have multi-personalities. Anyone that have multi-personalities are diagnosed as what? Schizophrenic. We don't serve a schizophrenic God. Someone said, but isn't he father? Yes. Is God, was God son? No. No. Come on and get me preaching. God was not a son? No. God ain't got a mother. God's body was a son. That's right. God was the father of that son. That's right. God was in the son and the son was made by God. And then the God of that son, which created that son, gave the son his name. So the world will know who made the son. That's why the son said, I come in my father's name. I know that's too deep for you, Bishop. Son of God was flesh. Let me show you the son of God titles. Son of God was flesh. Son of God was man. Son of God was begotten. Son of God was Mary's baby. Son of God was a thing, a holy thing. In fact, the Son of God was lower in nature than God. The Bible's, in fact, he was lower in nature than the angels. God is called highest. The Son is called Son of the highest. Showing you that the spirit is higher or greater or superior than the body. Right. The body said, I do nothing of myself. But as my father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. So God was not a son. No, no, no. God's body was a son. And God was in that son and used the son to redeem you. That's it. Let me give you a better understanding. Take your jacket off, Brother Walker. Take your jacket off. Just disconnect your, your clip there on your, yeah. Now, come here, Sister Janice. Come on, come on, Sister Janice, come on. Glory to God, wake up now. Here you have Mary, the mother of Jesus. Now don't go write me and tell me I called my wife Mary the mother of Jesus. I'm making an example. Now, hold that will you please, Mary. Here I am representing spirit, God. All of you was in sin, conceived in lust. I couldn't redeem you the way I was. Because I have no blood. Spirit don't have no blood. So in order to redeem you, I got to come looking like you and come among you. Because as it stands now, I'm higher than heaven. I'm deeper than hell. I'm broader than the sea. And I'm longer than the earth. That's God. Amen. So to dwell among you, I goes to David's house yeah. and visit a woman who consists of flesh and blood, and I get in her body and put on, yeah, put on. flesh and blood, yeah. and then I come out the birth canal of the woman. Right. Someone says she birthed God. God was already out. 
It was God that came on her. And it was God that overshadowed her. But it was the thing. It was the thing that she birthed. That's right. Yeah. It was just the thing. That's right. Now, the thing. thing. <laughs> Glory to God. With an unwavering commitment to sharing the gospel truth, Gino Jennings brings to life the profound impact of Jesus' redemptive work on the cross. Through his sermons, he encourages listeners to reflect upon the depth of Christ's love, urging them to embrace the message of salvation and experience the freedom it brings. Jennings fervently proclaims the good news, emphasizing that no sin is too great to be forgiven and that Jesus stands ready to extend his mercy to all who come to him with a repentant heart. Come here, son. The sin was on the cross. Yeah. The holy thing had to bleed. Yes. There were two lives there. One was the spirit. Yeah. The other was blood. blood. The spirit had to come out the thing. Yeah. So the thing could die. Yes. So here the body cries out. Eli, Eli, Lema Sabachthani. The body was asking the spirit, why are you leaving me? Why are you forsaking me? That's right. My God! My God! Why hast thou forsaken me? The Spirit! The Spirit! God! Jehovah! I am! And I owe him! Yahweh! Amen! Comes out the body! The spirit left the body there. Yeah. But now the spirit goes to the dead. That's right. Here's the spirit Preach. Preach. preaching Preach. to the dead. Yeah. Body's still up there. That's right. So this cause was the gospel preached That's right. to them that are dead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh and live according to God in the spirit. Here's the spirit down there preaching. All of them that are dead. Here's the body taken off the cross. Yes. Laid in one spot. Can't talk. Can't speak. Because the Bible says the body without the spirit is what? Is what? Is what? Hallelujah to God. Amen. He lost the blood on the cross, flesh and bones, yeah. placed down in the grave. Yeah. All that time, the Spirit was preaching, Spirit preaching yeah. talking to David, yeah. talking to Solomon, yeah. talking to Jesse, yeah. talking to Absalom, yeah. talking to Judah, yeah. talking to Simeon, yeah. talking to Levi. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 The Spirit Amen. in hell preaching on the third day the Spirit picks up the body but the body goes down one thing and it comes up another Another. Huh? when it resurrects it has the same shape same form same fashion. Yeah. But it ain't got no blood. So how do it live? By the power, power of, God. of the Spirit. Of the Spirit. Yeah. Do you understand? Amen. Hallelujah. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You okay, get that? Hallelujah. Yeah. That's how the church lives. That's right. By the power of God. Of God. So, 
You that say Mary was the mother of God. God ain't got no mama. No mother. God is not begotten. That's right. Jesus is not, nor ever was, the second person in the Godhead. That's right. In Jesus dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Amen. Is Jesus Christ God? Yes. yes. Was that flesh and blood God? No. Well, how can Jesus be God? Yeah. The name. Yeah. Don't you know the name of the Lord is everlasting? Everlasting. That's right. Give me the 17th chapter of John. Mm -hmm. Listen to what Jesus says. Amen. When he was praying. Amen. The body. You see, the only reason why for God to make a body, the body represents his church. So making a body and what he would do with the body mm -hmm. represent the church coming right. and what he will do with the church. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. Listen. St. John chapter 17, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. These words spake Jesus. All right. And lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Father, the, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son. Yes. That thy son also may glorify thee. And Down at verse 5. All right. And now, O Father. Now, O God. Glorify thou me with thine own son. Glorify thou me with thy own son of the glory I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name. Wait a minute. Hmm. Here it is, the flesh praying. praying. And what did the Son of Man say? I have manifested thy name. That alone tell you the name of the Father is Jesus. That's right. He said, I manifested thy name. Thy name. Um, I, told, I told the people right. what your name was. That's right. I want to say, Pastor Jennings, when did Jesus ever tell his disciples the name of God is Jesus? The moment when he used his name, he was telling them the one that sent him yeah. is Jesus. That's right. Jennings' heartfelt preaching on Christ's message of redemption stirs the soul and reminds believers of the incredible sacrifice Jesus made for humanity. His passionate delivery, combined with his deep understanding of Scripture, resonates with audiences encouraging them to seek a personal relationship with Christ and live in the fullness of his redeeming love. Through his words, Jennings instills a renewed sense of hope, reminding believers that regardless of their past, Jesus offers a path to forgiveness, healing, and eternal life. Now, if you got a suit, it's your suit. Yeah. And the suit is powerless unless you're in it that's right the body of flesh and blood was powerless without god in it that's right it healed well who healed the flesh healed no no the spirit that was in it yeah. it's the healer that's right that's why if you read about the woman with the issue of blood and she pressed through the crowd and when she touched the hem of his garment Jesus let us know that something came out of him. Out of something came out of him. That's right. What, what came out? The thing that was in. Yeah. The power of God, the spirit of God, the virtue of God, the presence of God. Yeah. So when we come in the name of Jesus Christ, it's bigger than the sun itself. That's right. The name of Jesus Christ is bigger than the Son of God. That's right. Because before there was a begotten Son, Jesus was here. Amen. Christ, now get me, Christ was in the wilderness. That's right. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And begin at verse 1. Follow me. Moreover, brethren, I want you to get this, viewers. Amen. 
you that try to make Jesus the second person in the Godhead and then you try to make the Holy Ghost his brother yes when you finish that up give me Ecclesiastes yes I want to roll out flesh and brother right Bible said there's one alone there's not a second right all right listen at this first Corinthians chapter 10 we're at verse 1 Parliament. moreover brethren I would not that ye should be ignorant. I don't want you to be ignorant now that all our fathers were under the cloud the Apostle Paul born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia who sat under the feet of God Milly, who was taught according to the perfect manner of the law came out the tribe that gave Israel the first king the tribe of Benjamin which made brother Paul a Benjamite that's right a Hebrew of the Hebrews touching the law Pharisee Meaning a believer of the spirit world. Right. Get this. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant. I don't want you to be ignorant. Now that all our fathers were under the cloud. He's making a reference to his ancestors. Yeah. The Jews yeah. that was traveling through the wilderness. Amen. Not some of them. But all that's right. Our fathers. All our fathers were under the cloud. This happened in the Old Testament. That's right. Under the cloud. And all passed through the sea. They all passed through the sea. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Then what? And did all eat the same spiritual meat. They all ate the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. And they all drank the same spiritual drink. It's referring to what Israel done. That's Follow right. me. For they drank. Uh oh. They drank. They drank. Of that spiritual rock. Of that spiritual rock. That followed them. Who was the rock following the Israelites in the Old Testament? And that rock was Christ. Amen. In the Old Testament, who was it? That rock was Christ. Amen. In the Old Testament, who was it? That rock was Christ. You better not tell me it was the Son of God following them because Mary wasn't born. That's right. Let me educate you. Amen. Christ, get me, get me. I want to give you some good knowledge. Christ was here right. before the Son of God was. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Christ Amen. was here before the Son of God was. That's right. For Christ is a spirit. Yes. That worked in the prophets. In the book of First Peter, chapter First Peter, chapter one, chapter one, and we'll start at verse ten. At verse ten, of which salvation? Of which salvation? The prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Who did it? The prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Look at the prophets. Amen. Jeremiah, Isaiah, Nahum, Obadiah. Look at the Searching. prophets. Moses, Elijah, Elijah, searching, searching, putting the search on. That's right. Eh? Abraham. Now there's some religions say Adam was a prophet. That's a lie. That's a lie. Why would God make Adam a prophet and there was no one in the earth for him to prophesy to? Amen. Adam was no prophet. No. Eh? No, no. What is that? Of which salvation? Of which salvation? The prophets have inquired and searched diligently. And what? Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you? Searching what? Or what manner of time? Who? The Spirit of Christ. Who? The Spirit of Christ. Where was the Spirit of Christ located? Which was in them. That's what's in me. That's right. Now, when God manifests himself in the flesh, the flesh inherited the name of God, and the flesh inherited the titles of God. That's right. For God is called Emmanuel. Emmanuel. But when he put on flesh, he was called Emmanuel, which means God, God with, us. with us. With us. How was God with us? With God us. was with us by being in a form, right. in a shape, yeah. in a fashion. Mm -hmm. And the fashion was called son. Son. Get me. God was not a son. That's right. Here, 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 preachers. Amen. God. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. God that made the universe was not a son. God is not because a man. Because God is not a man. That's right. In the book of Numbers. But the body that God made, that was called son. Son. That's it. You can never call God a son. That's right. Why? God got the title father. That's right. And God is not begotten. That's right. I had, a, I had a Muslim yeah. came to me and quoted from the Quran. It says that God is not begotten, right. nor he begetteth not. He said, do you understand that? I said, yes. He said, I don't think you do. I said, I do. 
<laughs> he said, well, in your Bible, they call Jesus the only begotten of the Father. Right. In other words, the only begotten of God. Yeah. He said, but in the Quran, it says, he begetteth not. Mm -hmm. He said, so, which one you agree with? I said, both. Both. When it, in your Quran that says he begetteth not, that means he don't have sex with flesh for you to get here. That's right. But being the only begotten God. of the Father, even the Son of Man came without the usage of sex. That's why he's called Second Adam. That's right. To be Second Adam, you gotta come like the first Adam. That's right. You got a Father, mm -hmm. and He's eternal. Amen. And He makes a body and breathes in it, and that's where He enter into it. That's it. That's right. Oh yes, He begetteth, Wonderful. Wonderful. and He begetteth not. Amen. God is not born. Mm -hmm. There's a separation yeah. in, the in the nature of human and divine. That's right. Human is begotten. Yeah. God don't sleep. I don't sleep. The Son of Man slept. Mm -hmm. God wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. God is the Holy Ghost. God don't have to eat. Yeah. He have no need of food. No need of food. Are you getting me? Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, I remember when four. I was debating a Muslim from the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. He asked me, what is the composition of God? I said, what do you mean? Wow. He used logic. He said, do God have eyes? I said, God see all things. Mm -hmm. He said, that's one composition that man has. Mm -hmm. He said, do God hear? I said, God hear everything. He said, that's another composition that man had. He said, do God speak? I said, God speak through the heavens. He said, now that's another composition that man had. Right. Then he said, I asked him, do man know all things? Mm -hmm. He said, yes. I said, do you know all things? He said, no. Yeah. His ignorance was his composition. Right. <laughs> man don't know. All things. All things. That's why the last book of the scriptures is called Revelation. Revelation. Gino Jennings passionately discusses Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross as the ultimate act of love and redemption. He explains that Jesus willingly laid down his life as a perfect, sinless sacrifice to atone for the sins of humanity. According to Jennings, through his death and subsequent resurrection, Jesus conquered sin and death, providing a pathway for believers to be reconciled with God and receive eternal life. He emphasizes the importance of faith in Jesus' sacrifice and encourages individuals to accept him as their Lord and Savior. What is revelation? Amen. That when the unknown is made known and the invisible is made visible. That's right. God being invisible made his power, his speech, his ability visible. Visible. That's right. But so people can handle it, he hid himself. He hid himself. Isaiah 45, 45 15, 15 and then give me the book of Hebrew mm -hmm. and let's see what did he hide himself in Isaiah 45 and at verse 15 Solomon. verily uh oh truly thou art a God uh, truly 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 verily. that's what verily mean mm -hmm. truly thou, thou art a God that hidest thyself that what that hidest thyself who was it oh God of Israel who? God of Israel what else is called the Savior wait a minute God of Israel, the what? God of Israel, the Savior. Well, I thought Jesus was the Savior. God of Israel, the what? God of Israel, the Savior. Well, how many saviors do we got? That's it. Amen. He only got one Savior. That's right. God of Israel, the Savior. God hid himself. That's right. In order for redemption, yeah. atonement to take place. Amen. 
No prophet was fit to atone for man's sins. That's right. No lamb, no bullock, no goat, no heifer, no turtle dove. No. Until it is written, heaven was searched. That's right. And the earth was searched. Earth was searched. And he said he went down underneath the earth, and that was searched, and he couldn't find no man worthy to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. John said, I cried. He said, I wept much. Because no man was found worthy. He said, one of the elders spoke to him. He said, weep not, behold, the lion of Judah's tribe, the root of David. Hold it. To have a root, you got to have a seed first. That's right. And in order for roots to form, the seed must go in dirt. Yeah. 53rd chapter of Isaiah. And begin at verse 1. Listen. Who hath believed our report? Ha. Hmm. Who hath believed our report and... To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? And to whom is the arm? Hmm. Hmm. Arm. Let's talk about that. The arm. To whom is the arm? Arm of the Lord revealed. The Lord's arm. Yes. What do God do with this arm? arm? Reach out to rescue. That's right. He come on to deliver us, pull us from darkness. Who was it revealed to? Mm -hmm. Who did he make known his delivering power to? Amen. Who did he come save? Who did he come rescue? Who did he come heal? Who did he come bless? Mm -hmm. Who did he come anoint? Amen. Who did he bring to himself? That's right. He said, what? Who hath believed our report? And to whom? Is the arm of the Lord revealed. You see? All of us that are sitting here now, the Lord's arm was revealed unto us. Gino Jennings is known for his powerful and passionate preaching about Jesus Christ, breaking down who Jesus was and the significance of his life. That's what gathered us. He gathered us in. The Lord revealed his arm. Uh -huh. For he, uh oh, he, uh oh, all right, now let's focus on language. Amen. He shall grow up. Shall, I want everybody to listen, listen at what I'm about to itemize. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, viewers, mm -hmm. viewers. Hey, Bishop, get this before you go preach this morning. Yeah. He, he shall grow up before shall him. Grow up before, before him. Him. Hold it. He shall grow up before him. Before him. him. But him mm -hmm. was here before he. That's right. That's right. He, dealing with the flesh, mm -hmm. shall grow up mm -hmm. before, before him. Him, him, which is spirit, eternal, celestial, perpetual God. Yeah. In other words, the true vine shall grow up before the husband man. That's right. He shall grow up before him. 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 What? As a tender plant. Him will not be a tender plant. No. He will be a tender plant. That's right. And him will nurture and water and be in the tender plant. Amen. What do you mean tender? Tender. The Son of God was young. Oh, yeah. God never was young. That's right. God is not a tender plant. Yeah. God is the tree of life. That's right. Do you see the separation? Amen. Between human and divine? Oh, yeah. Tender means young. He had to grow. grow. Did not the scripture teach us how Jesus grew, grew that's right. in wisdom mm -hmm. and in stature, in stature. holy. Oh, 
he got to a point where he was tall according to the Old Testament. That's right. Tall said what? Oh yes. Oh yes. The prophet said, I saw a number that no man can number, and they all stood stiffly. Stiffly. Standing stiffly mean they was firm. That's right. Solid. Mm -hmm. Listen at this quickly. In the book of 2nd Estrus, chapter 2. I want to show you this in the scriptures. 2nd Estrus, chapter 2, and we'll start at verse 42. You see, you can't get this on the internet. No. Gino Jennings is widely recognized for his deep knowledge and passionate delivery of biblical teachings. His dedication to the Holy Bible has made him a respected figure among many believers. They fumble with the Bible, they play with it. Yeah. Listen. Second Estrus chapter 2, we'll start at verse 42. All right. I, Estrus, saw upon the Mount Zion a great... I, Estrus, saw among, uh, uh, on Mount Zion a great people. Glory to God, the church. That's right. A great people is the church. Amen. Glory be to God. You know, you know, you want to make it. Oh, yeah. You want to get in. Yeah. I, Estrus, mm -hmm. saw on I Mount Zion a great people. I oh. saw the church. Yeah. What? Whom I could not... Uh-oh. What? Whom I could not number. What? Whom I could not number. Lock your fingers there and give me revelation. Quickly. I want to hold that point right there. Mm -hmm. He said I couldn't number. Couldn't number. Someone said, well, that was dealing with the descendants of Jews. It was not. The ones that come direct from Abraham, each tribe, according to the seventh chapter of the book of Revelation, Revelation. was sealed. Uh, 12,000. 12,000. 12, and each tribe being sealed 12,000, it formed into 144,000, right. which are the direct descendants of Abraham, according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. But now there's another one yeah. that come from Abraham according to the spirit, yeah. which are Abraham's seed by faith. That's right. And that's the number that no man can number. In the book because of the ones that's Abraham's seed by faith is the latter house. Yeah. And the latter house is greater than the former house. Right. Yeah. Ah! That's right. The house of the church of the last days yeah. is greater, greater than the church in the wilderness. That's right. You see, you Jews, you had Moses as your prophet. But Moses said, one come after me, he's mightier than I. Or he's going to be like me. Like me. God shall raise up a prophet like me, and him shall you hear. And how much? All things. So you Jews, in Moses' time, you was baptized in the cloud, in the sea. In the sea. Mm-hmm. Now there's a name bigger than Moses. Oh, yeah. Bigger than the clouds. Yes. Bigger than all seas. Amen. In the days of Moses, you had to get hyssop. Get a branch and dip it in hyssop and water and sprinkle it over the book. Yeah. Hyssop is an herb. Mm -hmm. Purifies your blood. Yeah. There was a tender plant hanging on some wood. That's right. Cuss it be the man. Hanging on the tree. Hanging on the tree. There was a true vine there. True vine. Pierce his hands and pierce his feet. You know, when you got a plant and you cut it, it may bleed water. Yeah. When they pierced the true vine in the side, yeah. out came blood. And water. And water. And water. But the husband man had to come out. Yeah. And when the husband man came out, the plant was able to die. That's right. Remember the prophet said he saw a number that no man can number. Right. Now give me Revelation quickly. Revelation chapter 7, we're at verse 9. Real quick. After this I beheld and lo. I, I, I don't even have time to give you what's in me now, but the apostle said, I beheld and lo. And lo, a great multitude. A great multitude. Which no man can number. Look how the apostle agree with him. Yeah. Got the same spirit. Right. Uh -huh. Which no man can number. No of, man can number. Of all nations. Of what? Of all nations. All right. My Hebrew is your life that's writing me. Amen. And you want to keep telling me Jesus didn't come from nobody, didn't come for nobody but black. Right. No, he did not. No, no. When John saw the church, mm -hmm. what it consists of? Of all nations. All nations. What did it say, brothers? All nations. All nations.
nations. We got Mexico with us. Hallelujah. Canada. Argentina. Honduras. Puerto Rico. Venezuela. All nations. All nations. When I go to Europe, sometimes I see some of the whitest of the white. Yeah. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Amen. Part of the church. Amen. All nations. Glory to God, all nations. All nations. Got him in Afghanistan. Yeah. In the midst of their Arabic language. Amen. When the Holy Ghost come on you. Hallelujah. He have moved that native tongue. Yeah. And let you speak in another tongue. Yeah. Here you, here you have the Arab and the Jew and the Palestinian. Then look at here. You have Sarah and Hagar. And Hagar. Going down in water. That's right. All nations. Someone said, what do that mean? The Bible says Sarah is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And Hagar is Arabia. Arabia. So you have Sarah and Hagar. Mm -hmm. You have the Jews and the Arabs. That's right. Repenting of their sins. Amen. Do you know we have some Arab brothers that have repented of their sins, yeah. went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and they're now walking with the truth of God Amen. and the Arab? Amen. We have a gospel. That's far reaching. All nations. How much? All nations. All nations. And kindred. And kindred. And people. And people. And people. What else? And tongues. And, wait a minute. All different dialects. Stood before the throne. All right, let's go back to Esther's chapter and verse again. Back in 2nd Esther's chapter 2 and at verse 42. I want to show you Jesus was a tall man at one point. Right. All right. Esther's chapter 2 and at verse 42. Come on, say, hi, tall. I don't know. The Bible just said tall. That's enough for me. That's enough. Gino Jennings possesses a profound understanding of the Holy Bible, and his ability to dissect and explain its teachings is truly remarkable. He delves into the scriptures with meticulous attention to detail, providing profound insights into the historical context, cultural nuances, and theological significance of various passages. Through his sermons, Gino Jennings illuminates the timeless wisdom and relevance of the Bible, making it accessible and applicable to contemporary life. All right. I, Esther, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, all right. whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with song. Yeah. And in the midst of them, and in the midst of them, there was a young man. Ah. Amen. There was a young man. Young man of a high stature. Of a high stature. What? Taller. What? Taller. What? Taller. Taller than who? Than all the rest. Amen. Now, let, let, let me break that down for you. Wonderful, brother. I don't, want you, I don't want you to think his body was like a skyscraper. Right. Right. Taller than all the rest. All the Why? Rest. Why? Why was he taller than all the rest? All the rest. Acts chapter 4. Yeah. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter Acts 4. Acts chapter 4 and at verse 12. Again at verse 10. At verse 10. Let's see why was he taller. Taller than all the rest. Than all the rest. Parliament. Be it known unto you all. Be it known unto everybody. And to all the people of Israel. And to all Israel. That by the name of Jesus Christ I of want Nazareth. You, I want you to know who we're talking about. Right. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom ye crucified. Whom ye crucified. Whom God raised from whom the dead. God raised from the dead. Even by him. Even by him. Do it this man stand here before you all. Who was Jesus? This is the stone. Oh. Amen. Who was Jesus? This is the stone. This Hallelujah. is the solid one. That's, that's right. Uh -huh. Which was set at naught of you builders. Which was set at naught of you builders. Which has become the head of he, the wait corner. Wait a minute. He become what? The head of the corner. Becoming the head of a, the corner means he's superior than you are. That's right. Let's get. Now go back to Esther. Right. Read that again quickly. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature. Taller than all the rest. He was what? Taller than all the rest. Go back to Acts. Back in Acts chapter 4 at verse 11. I just want to refresh you. All right. This is the stone uh -huh. which was set in naught of you builders. What is it? Which has become the head of the corner. Uh -huh. Neither is there salvation in any other. Why? For there is none other name under heaven given among men. What? Whereby we must be saved. His name was exalted. Right. Then they are. That's right. 
not only his name, but his physical body. That's right. Was exhausted. That's right. Then they all. God also. Now hold it. The Bible says God. God also. Also. Has highly exalted him. He did what? Highly exalted him. Highly exalted him. He did what? Highly exalted him. Why? And would the Bible show Jesus ahead, taller, taller than they are? Than they are. Because he won everybody. That's right. To look up to him. That's right. Amen. As the needs, you see, if, if he's on the same level, yeah. you'll be out of eye. That's right. God say you ain't gonna be out of eye to me. No, no. Not only would I come look like him, but what I will put on yeah. will be higher than what you're wearing. That's right. It will be better than what you're wearing. That's right. Because what you got condemns you. Yeah. But what Jesus has will save you. Amen. Now, let's talk about Jesus' blood. blood. Hebrews. Hebrews. Let's see what was the partaker of. Yes. Romans. Yes. Chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 3. And John, John, I believe chapter, chapter four. four. Right. I want you to follow me. I want you to follow me. I want you to follow me. Mm -hmm. I want you to get Jesus' DNA. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Gino Jennings' commitment to biblical accuracy and integrity is evident in his teachings. He emphasizes the importance of reading and interpreting the Bible in its original context, taking into account the languages, customs, and historical backgrounds of the biblical authors and their intended audience. With great care, he strives to present an accurate representation of biblical truths, shedding light on often misunderstood or overlooked passages. Gino Jennings' dedication to the scriptures helps believers develop a deeper understanding of God's Word and its transformative power. Now, Pope Francis Say Jesus is a man just like him. Our Lord. Jesus was not a Roman. No. Pope Francis said Jesus is in heaven with flesh and blood just like him. Lord. Really? Mm. Jesus' blood. Let's go to school. Yeah. Was superior? Oh, yes. Greater? Greater. Undefiled? Yeah. Incorruptible? Amen. I oh, said, so wait a minute, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. Mary was just a virgin, but she was born in the world with sin and shaped into iniquity. I agree, agree 103%. <laughs> Amen. Mary! was only clean but not knowing the man right she was born in the world with sin and she was shaped into iniquity, yeah, iniquity. that's true mm -hmm. but let's investigate the body yeah. of jesus oh yeah notice this hebrews chapter 2 and we're at verse 14. follow me for as much then for as, as much then as the children as the human family are partakers of flesh and are blood partakers yeah. of flesh and blood and blood he also himself listen Amen. listen listen Amen. warning that's warning right. that's right warning Amen. listen he also himself he also himself likewise likewise took part took all took part took all took part of the, part of what? Of the same. No, he took all the same. Took part of the same. No, he took all the same. Took part of the same. All that? that? Amen. If chapter the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8. I want to show you what it would mean Amen. when it says he took part, took part of the same. That's right. If chapter the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, and we'll start at verse 1. Read it fast. There is therefore now no condemnation to them. I want he was made right. in the likeness. Mm -hmm. 
Listen. Now in the book of Romans, chapter 8, and at verse 5. Come on, son. For they that are at verse 3. All right. For what the law could not do. In that. It was weak through the flesh. What did God do? God sending his own son. How in the was the son sin? In the likeness of sinful flesh. No, he had sinful flesh. In the likeness of sinful flesh. No, he had it. In the likeness of sinful flesh. No, he had it. In the likeness of sinful flesh. Likeness. He came looking like you. That's right. But he wasn't like you. Right. There was something that we had. That's right. That he didn't have. Didn't have. He took part. Part of the same. Of the same. For as much then. He took part. Right. Book of John, quickly. Mm -hmm. St. John chapter 1. Listen at and, this. And we'll start at verse 12. All right. But as many as received them, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Yes. Even to them that believe on his name, uh -huh. which were born. Uh-oh, look at here. Amen. Which was born. Not of blood. Talking about Jesus. Right. Which was born. Not of blood. Not of blood. Nor. Nor. Of the will of the flesh. Uh-oh. He didn't come here by the will of the flesh. In other words, there was no physical Involvement. That's right. There was no lust involved. That's right. Because that would be the will of the flesh. Right. What else? Nor, nor of the will of man. In other words, there was no seed right. from a man's lower nature yeah. for his arrival. That's right. How did he get here? Blood of God. That was made him the only begotten. That's right. That's right. Not of blood. Not of blood. Not of blood. Amen. How can you beat up the seed of David and yet not of blood? Amen. You of the seed of David and not of blood? Amen. His blood was superior to David's blood. But with the precious blood. With the precious blood of who? Of, of David. Of Christ. Of David. Of Christ. Of David. Of Christ. His and body was in the likeness. Yeah. That's why his body was a sacrifice. That's right. In the days of old, they offered up lambs, bullocks, heifers, and turtle doves. And if you remember, when they got a lamb, it couldn't be defiled. Yeah. It couldn't even be lame. That's right. It couldn't even be crippled. Amen. It could not have no, no form of blemish. Right. Well, if he had sin in his body, he would have had a blemish. Yeah. And if Jesus would have had a blemish, yeah. he would not be fit. That's right. To die for me. That's right. So when he shed blood, for him. it was clean. It was clean. How? Here. That's right. Under fire. Yeah. Listen. Now in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9 and verse 14. That's what? How much more? How much more? Shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit. Wait a minute. Mm, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the through eternal spirit. The eternal spirit. Offered himself. He, he did what? Offered himself. Hold it. Amen. Everybody all right? Go ahead. Right then, that showed you the spirit was the priest. That's right. Because in the days of old, the priest offered the lamb. Yeah. He offered the sacrifice. Yeah. But there was no priest sufficient enough yeah. on, earth on earth to offer Jesus. That's right. So here the spirit mm -hmm. took the place of the priest. Amen. Someone said, well, how is that? It ain't the first time he done it. No. There was no priest in Abraham day. Right. So he come along as Melchizedek. That's right. Taking the place of the priest. Amen. Minister under Abraham, bread and wine. Bread and wine. So there was no priest that was sufficient enough to offer up the perfect sacrifice. So here he come. That's right. No, I come. No, I come. In the volume of the book. The book. Who? God. The eternal spirit offered up that body. What do you mean? He surrendered, surrendered. the son of man. Amen. When did he do it? When did he do it? Come here, brother. When Jesus, the mediator, the son of man, son of God. First, let me explain this title. Son of man, just simply means he was the son of a prophet. Right. Oh, do we understand this? Amen. Who was that prophet? David. Because the Bible says that David was his father. That's right. It is written, of the throne of his father David, there shall be no end. That's what it means, son of man. Son of man, son of David. Son of the prophet. Son of God means servant of God, minister of God. Because son means servant or minister. Mediator. 
because he was between God and man. That's right. Mediator also means he was the door. Because in order to get to the everlasting life, which is the eternal spirit, you had to come through the man. That's right. And when the man opened up, it's when he chose apostles and taught them. And when he taught them, the door was opened, meaning knowledge was released. For there is one God. There's one God. And one, one mediator between, between God, God and man. Who was it? The man. What part? The man. What part? The man. What part? The man. It was the man that was the mediator. That's right. The spirit is not the mediator. Yeah. Because there's nothing between spirit. Yeah. He bears the title lamb. Because his body is a sacrifice. He bears the title man. Because he's sent to represent and to reflect the will of God. That's right. He bears the title ox. Because he gotta be offered up. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. He bears the title seed. Because the Spirit planted that flesh in David's house. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. He bears the title apostle. Because he was taught by the Spirit, then sent out by the Spirit. That's right. He bears the title bishop. Because God gave that body the oversight to teach his apostles. Yeah. Are you getting me? Amen. He bears the title head of the church. The church. Because he oversees the body. That's right. So in order for the Spirit to offer up this sacrifice like the priests in the Old Testament, yeah. the Spirit will have to release the body. That's right. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Listen that when Jesus was on the cross. Amen. He cried out. Cried out. My God, you're mighty slow tonight. Eli, Eli, Lema, Sabathani. My God. Listen, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me when you forsake something you leave it when the spirit came out that act alone offered up the body that's right don't you hear what he read in hebrews back he in the book offered of up hebrews. that body read it quick back in the book of hebrews chapter 10 he offered up that body amen what? how much more what Shall the blood of how Christ, much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit how did he do it who through the eternal spirit did what offered himself offered who offered himself offered who offered himself offered himself to who without spot to God wait a minute he offered himself himself without spot that flesh was offered to who to God amen in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse The outer 20. man was offered right. to the inner man. That's right. That's God. Yeah. His blood, viewers, was more valuable than ours. Oh, yeah. Jesus was never a man like you or like me. That's right. For as much as you know, listen, now in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 18, as much as you know, that ye were not redeemed with you, corruptible you was things. Not, listen, the Lord didn't use corruptible things to redeem you as, as silver, and, silver gold and gold from your vain conversation. With all your vain conversation. Received by tradition from your fathers. How good was the blood? But with the precious blood of Christ. Amen. How good was the blood? Precious blood of Christ. Ain't nobody can say that about their blood. No. Our blood was all sinful. That's right. Messed up. Yeah. That's why you got to repent. Repent. Yeah. Nobody got the blood of Jesus without baptism. That's right. That's right. Get that? Amen. You must be baptized. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. If not, you don't have the blood. Yeah. Thank God when he was on the cross, they pierced him in his side, out and the Bible speaks plain. Out, out come blood, blood and, and water. water. Blood right. and, water. and water. In order for you to get that blood, yeah. you have to go down in water, in water. And you got to call the name of him that shed this blood. Acts 22 and verse 16. Acts 22, 16 says, And now why tell us that? All right, viewer. You that are watching in Australia and New Zealand, yeah. Japan, Canada, America. Amen. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, like, share, and subscribe. 
See you soon. Hope you guys learned something from this. God bless you.